you're fired up for lowering your fertilizer investment but don't have great data to base your decisions on, spring soil sampling is a must. There are a couple considerations you need to keep in mind though before you start. We'll discuss that in today's Iron Talk. Soil sampling is pretty straightforward, especially with helpful tools like the Ag PhD soil test app at your disposal. Just set up your account, pick the fields online, then head to the field and get the samples pulled. However, if your soil is just thawing out, you need to be prepared. You can pull samples from frozen ground, but that takes more work. Let's start with the assumption that your ground is thawed, but may be a little bit wet or sticky. The best ideas I've heard about dealing with that situation are to A, bring along a pail of water so you can dip the probe in and wash it off as needed. B, which is most commonly what I do, use WD-40 and spray your probe as often as needed to keep soil from sticking. With this, you need to use the name brand WD-40 as it doesn't mess up the results on your soil test. The third option would be to utilize a wood dowel to push the soil out of the probe if you're having trouble. This is another option that I use on a regular basis. Even if the sample is just a little bit on the wet side, you really don't need to dry it before sending it in to most labs. Just use the sample bags provided by your soil's lab of choice and send them in immediately to avoid mold developing in the bags. Be prepared before you head to the field this spring, and spring soil sampling should go smoothly. That's all for today's Iron Talk, and now back to the show. 